There are times in our lives when we all need to be healed. And it may be that it's for ourselves or it may be for a loved one. And whenever that happens, we always have to go back to the scriptures. And so allow this reading of the scriptures to sink into your heart and settle into your mind so that when you become anxious and worried, you will have the scriptures inside of you so that it can calm you, give you peace that surpasses all understanding. And you will experience stronger faith and a knowing that the Most High is true to his word. Jeremiah seventeen fourteen says, Heal me, O Yahuwah, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. And then 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your Elohim. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then Isaiah 53 verse 5. It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his stripes, we are healed. In Jeremiah 33, 6, Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Psalm 41, 3, Yahuwah sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalm 103, verses 2 through 4. Bless Yahuwah, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Allow these scriptures to settle into your mind and sink deep within your heart so that you can meditate on Yah's word so that it will give you a peace and a comfort in the midst of this difficult time and needing healing. And then James chapter 5 verse 15 It says, and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. And then verse 16 says, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. And then 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Proverbs 17, 22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So have a joyful heart, even in the midst of this stormy season. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. 
for I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares Yahuwah, because they have called you an outcast, it is Zion for whom no one cares, but the Father cares for you. Matthew 10 verse 1 And he called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. This scripture is so important for you to remember that he has given you authority, child of the Most High, giving you authority in Christ Yahshua that you too can cast out evil, unclean spirits, that you have the authority to say no to the spirit of infirmity, to say no to sickness, disease, and illness, to say no to whatever weapons are being formed against you because the scripture says that they will not prosper. But you have to trust in his word. You have to obey his word and walk in it and understand your authority in Christ Yeshua as a child of the Most High. And then James chapter 5 verse 14 says, Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And you can call on the elders of the assembly. You can call on people who walk in the way of the Most High, who pray the scriptures, who can then bring healing because where two or three come together unified in the scriptures, the Most High hears those prayers and he will answer according to his good and perfect will. Exodus fifteen twenty six. it says, If you will diligently listen to the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim, and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians for I am Yahuwah, your healer. Proverbs chapter four, verses 20 through 22. It says, my son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Psalms chapter 6 verse 2. It says, Be gracious to me, O Yahuwah, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Yahuwah, for my bones are troubled. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15, it says, And Yahuwah will take away from you all sickness and none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you knew, will he inflict on you, but he will lay them on all who hate you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Yahshua and Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 7 it reminds us do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god and the peace of god your father which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ yahshua proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 8 it says trust in yahuwah with all your heart and do not lean 
on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahuwah and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Be blessed.